Hey guys, Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury Channel. And today, guys, I'm in Melbourne, Melbourne, and I'm making some clips here. Let's go and have a look at some Rolex pieces in Melbourne. So look at this here. This is uh, Patek Philippe, Patek, a Grand Classic by uh, Patek Philippe. And uh, we'll also have a look and see what they've got as far as Rolex. Rolex. Oh, look at Jager Lecoultre. Wowzers. Jager, Jager Lecoultre. Very beautiful. Uh, they've got some Gerard Perrigay. Not such a big fan of Gerard Perrigay. Tudor. Tudor, 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 Tudors. Look at that. Tudors. Nice, healthy sprinkling of Tudors. Very, very nice uh, Tudor. Um, it's it's a cool, cool, cool place to be there. Um, ooh, some nice Rolex. Look at this. This is Rolex. Rolex, Rolex, Rolex. Beautiful Sky Dweller in yellow gold with a uh, beautiful brown, brown uh, leather strap there. Absolutely elegant. I love a gold watch on a leather strap. I don't know what it is. It just pops. It just pops. Now, let's see if we can see a few more. Uh, what else have we got here? What other exciting things? I'm just... This is uh, Watches of Switzerland. Uh, just coming back from another angle. So I got a bit of footage from a, a few different angles here. You know, you got to be a bit careful. Look at the prices. Rolex, Rolex, Rolex. Yes, 48000 for the Sky Dweller on a leather strap. Yes, sirree. Absolutely. Oh, look at that. I love that uh, rose gold um, uh, Yacht Master. Oh, Rolex, Rolex, Rolex. Absolutely love it. It is... Very, very cool indeed. Nice new Cartier Santos. Look at the Santos. Wowzers. i got to tell you, I've been disappointed with Cartier, but they're hitting it. Jager Le Coultre. Look at the Reversos. Oh, my God. I love a Reverso. A Reverso is a super cool watch. And I've got to tell you, I'm a huge fan of them. Look at this his and her pair. I wish I had the money to go in there and just buy the pair. Buy the pair, guys. And I've got to say to you, that is a very beautiful combo there. It's a ladies duo, rose gold with diamonds. Um, I, I've got to be honest with you there. Some Langes, my God, my heart skipped a beat there. A bit hard to film here with the double glassing. Just just very hard to film, but some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Langes. I would really love to get a Lange one. I would... Uh, Really, really like to get a Lung A1. And uh, we'll see what I can do. I might have to get a bit of finance. I might have to get a bit of finance. I know it goes against the grain, but uh, let's see. Some wonderful IWCs there. Some IWCs in the window. And another great store in Melbourne is Cartier. Cartier. They've got a nice boutique. It's a very, very tastefully done boutique. Uh, right in Collins Street in Melbourne. So uh, it's this is look George Jensen, Jan Lang, all the upmarket labels are here indeed. And uh, this is very very Melbourne it's with uh, trams here. I wanted to get special footage for the um, for my uh, you know I just wanted to get a bit of footage of a tram and the Cartier store. Very very. Melbourne-ish. Melbourne-ish indeed there. Lovely store. Quite a big store. It's not quite as good as the Brisbane Cartier flagship boutique. But I, I got to tell you, it is still extremely beautiful. Extremely beautiful. And uh, it's it's very... It, it's Cartier is very elegant. I got to tell you, the way they do their storefront is incredibly incredibly sophisticated and uh, look at that beautiful Cartier logo wow you can just tell this is a a classy place inside I had to be careful just a little bit of filming their beautiful Cartier vintage Edwardian vehicle um, I also love look at this Panther Cartier Panther on display in the store it is all beautifully done I've got to tell you Cartier uh, it is a beautiful store. I've 
had to be a little bit had to be a little bit rogue uh, to get this footage here. So um, there you go, a bit of Cartier footage. They they're a little bit sensitive to filming in the store there, but I I snuck a little bit out, snuck a little bit out for my um, my viewers there. So uh, there you go. There's some some wonderful places to see. Now let's go to the casino. Let's go to Crown. Let's go to Crown Casino. This is the premier place, and uh, obviously you've got uh, Rolex. What would a casino be without Rolex? So uh, this is actually, I believe it's Kennedy's. Kennedy's. A um, lot of, lot of uh, day dates and date just. Not a lot of steel sports, I'm afraid. Not a lot of steel sports, but uh, a very nice display indeed. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. And uh, i got to tell you, I met a very, very famous fan. This is the owner of the Archie Luxury Racehorse. The Archie Luxury Racehorse. He was meeting people. Archie Luxury. This is the owner. This is the one and only. This guy made my dreams in life come true. This guy. This guy has made my dreams come true. This is the owner of Archie. Archie Luxury, the racehorse. This is a Melbourne Cup. This is gonna. This course is gonna do really, really well. So um, I'm very, very thrilled, and uh, I I just wanted to get a bit of bit of footage down at the casino, and um, I've I've got to be honest with you. There, it was a fantastic tour of Melbourne. Not much steel sports stunners. In Rolex, Rolex was very, very much a lot of date just, a lot of day dates, uh, not a lot of um, steel sports stunners. So that the whole Rolex genre is very, very difficult. It's hard. Um, you know, the Submariners non-existent. Um, GMTs are. Oh, I, I didn't see a Pepsi. I didn't see nothing, nothing, nothing. Very, very. Short supply. Um, I got to be honest with you. I do love the day date, but you know, I think for a lot of people getting into Rolex, they really want to buy Steel Sports Rolex watches. Steel Sports, Steel Sports. That's where you've got to go. Steel Sports Rolex, Steel Sports. And um, I got to be honest with you. Melbourne was very, very dry for Steel Sports Rolex. So um, it, it's 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 very very sad to see no steel sports. Scotty wanted me to pick up a steel sports stunner for him, but hey, they were few and far between. Few and far between. So there you go, Archie Luxury reporting live from Melbourne. Tell me what you guys tell me what you guys think of that. Like, subscribe, and tell your friends. Okay. Hey guys, my name is Paul Pluter. I'm the method actor who plays Archibald Chesterfield III, AC3. Guys, guys, I need a bit of help. I need a bit of help. I need a bit of help. It's very hard running a YouTube channel relying on Google Ads alone. I'm in a special niche and I speak my mind and I've, I don't have all those Seiko wannabes, all the people who want assurance about their affordable shitters. So I've got to really try hard to bring in the revenue. Guys, if you like my content, if you think I'm a great, great chap to have around, why don't you help me out? There's a number of ways you can help me out. This will keep me full time on YouTube. Look in the description of this video for some ways you can help me. You could sponsor me on Patreon. That allows you to send a small monthly amount to me every month. It can be a dollar, it can be a hundred dollars, whatever you can afford. 
the next way you can help me is, well guys, I, I really need some money to keep things going. Paid reviews. On the Paul Pruder channel, I run paid reviews. For as little as 20 US dollars, I'll give you an opinion of your collection, of what you're looking at, I'll try and answer. There's heaps of other ways you can help me. I do telephone consultancy. For 50 US dollars, I will talk to you on Skype or WhatsApp and answer your horological or personal problems. Any questions, I'll give it a go. I'll give it a go. Now guys, please help us out. Look down below and if you, if you, if you could help us out, I will stay here and make videos full time on YouTube.